Welcome back to Aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about zip function in Python. In fact, in one of the video we have talked about zip but then I thought, hey, we don't have the detailed video about it, so let's make it. Now when you say zip, what it means? Exactly the zip you have in your genes, right? So normally it connects multiple components. So let's say if you have uh, two lists and if you want to join them like this, you can use zip there. Example, let's say, I will go back here and let me create two lists here, or two tuples. Names and I can have a, a list of names. So let me say Naveen uh, and we can say Kiran, let's say Hirsch. So we have these three names and let's say uh, we can define what companies they are working for. Uh, so let's say Naveen is working for Dell, Kiran is working for Apple and Hirsch is working for Microsoft. So if you have these two list and if you want to join them, so we can say Naveen, Dell and uh, Kiran, Apple and then Hirsch, DS, MS, uh, we can, what we can do is we can use zip function. So we can say zip. And we can pass these two containers. We can say comps, Navin, Navin, uh, names and comps. And we can save that in a separate object. I can say uh, zipped. We can have anything, doesn't matter actually. And then I can print the values of zip. It's very simple. You can say zipped. I can print this. But the question is, if I run this code, what will be the output? Now you can guess, of course, it can be the uh, list. The, we can connect this to list or we can have a... Uh, uh, let, let's see what, what our output we get. So if you run this code, you can see we got uh, zip object adder. So we are getting the type as zipped. We don't want that. We want it to give us the list. So what we can do is we can print, uh, we can take the list out of it. So we can pass the zip into list and it will give us the list of values. And let me just run this code now. And you can see that we got list. We got Naveen, Dell, Kiran, Apple, Hirsch, MS. That's how you can zip, right? So we can, ha we can have that format. This works. Uh, we can also use set here. So instead of using list, we can use set. The only thing is set will be unstructured uh, and it will it will give you only unique values. So if you run this code, uh, you can see we got the same thing. It's just that this is set and it will not maintain the order. Uh, it is in this case, but it will not maintain the order. It is, there's no guarantee of it. But what if you have repeated values? So if you have Naveen here and if you have, uh, let's say, some other company, uh, Maybe let's go with uh, Dell itself. And in this case, if you can, you can see we have two Naveens, but still it will give you only one. That's the part of set. And the thing you can also use uh, dictionary here and it will give you in dictionary format. So if you're in this code, you can see we got Naveen, Dell, uh, Kiran, Apple, and then Hirsch, MS. So this is a dictionary format. In fact, you can also use a iterator. You can use a loop here and you can iterate between the values. Uh, so what I will do here is I will not be using dictionary. And let me iterate using a loop. So I will use a for loop and I will say two variables. I will say a and b. And I will say in zipped. And here I can print those values. I can say print. I can print a and I can print b. So simple. I can print a and I can print b. So it will print the list. You can see that we got a list here. So that's how you use zip function and it can be used for multiple reasons but this is one of the reasons like we can use it and i guess i have used it where in socket programming uh, so yeah that's about zip so if you are watching this before socket programming so yes in socket programming you can see you can see that function and if you have seen that socket programming if you want to know what is zip this is it so i hope you enjoyed this video let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos bye, -bye.